Hi Pisces, this is Shah. How are you? I hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying all the videos that are coming out like the uh, pumpkin soup and pumpkin light and getting really into the sphere of Halloween and please like and subscribe welcome if you're new and thank you to all my cyber angels for the likes and shares and uh, I'm enjoying myself with the um, theme of Halloween and there's going to be a lot more things coming up like uh, reflexology and also gemstones and if you would like to join my Facebook page that's Charlie's Angel Crowd that's a closed group and there I'll be doing workshops and going live and uh, uh, live sessions as well discussions and things and they'll be coming up too so I hope to see you in Charlie's Angel Crowd okay I'm using a new deck and that is called the uh, tarot star tarot and it is also a little bit paganish um, and it's by Kathy McClelland and um, I've made a review on that so go and have a look in the playlists under reviews and also if you want to stay up to date then have a look at news and updates um, there will be another discussion with Tracy with regards to candles because um, I'm finding it fascinating that candles are made of different oils etc etc so watch out for that as well I'm going to start off with the week and then clarification cards and that of course two oracle cards so here we go the first card that you have is the seven of swords and what I mean by pagan, pag, uh, paganistic or earthly people, people that work with the earth, we've got Indians, we've got the forests, we've got the animals, we've got the flowers, so I think they are so beautiful. They tell a story in their own right. And look at this deer. You've got a deer standing there and looking really gobsmacked amazed in other words that something like this could happen somebody went off and did something sneaky or is sneaky um, so perhaps you are left with a broken heart or by being upset because somebody has been a little bit nasty or naughty behind your back perhaps somebody went off and left you standing there like the deer absolutely amazed at how things can turn out so if something like that is happening with you then dust yourself off and carry on if it hasn't happened then this is a warning be careful somebody might be doing something behind your back so just rise above it walk away and go into your own little world and this is also confirmed by the four of swords it's time to retreat perhaps because you're so surprised and amazed that something like that it has happened that you are pulling back and going within you're isolating yourself isolate yourself from that person and the situation but don't isolate yourself from the rest of the world like your family or friends but remember if something dreadful happens and it leaves us amazed or angry then retreat contemplate meditate and that will bring you answers evaluate of course the answers um, as to what you can do about it okay you might even want to get some advice um, not because of the king is lying there but if you are feeling overwhelmed and talk to somebody a problem shared is a problem a problem aired is a problem shared and then the load or the, the 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 feeling won't be so bad then you are already starting to heal from this situation you don't want somebody in your life that is two-faced or is argumentative or whatever you just carry on and making new friends if somebody's taken money then make sure that you take the right steps and get advice and that is what perhaps the king of swords 
represents. He's the man that has the um, knowledge of the letter of the law. He's a king. He's wise. He stands for wisdom. He stands for justice, honesty, clarity, transparency, um, and and communication. So you might seek advice with regards to somebody taking something from you because the basic meaning of the Seven of Swords is somebody has taken something with them that doesn't belong to them or the, um, they have disappeared into thin air. If they have left you stuck with bills, for instance, besides a broken heart, then take legal action or advice at least to get things clear and out in the open as the truth will always arise okay the truth prevails boom now this could be with regarding to a partnership in business and you thought you would get the half of everything you would uh, because legally everything is split in half 50-50 uh, you've got the Six of Pentacles, and that's a beautiful card. It's got a Native American and the Buffalo, the White Buffalo. So something might be happening magically for you this week. Okay, the White buf Buffalo uh, is considered to be luck and a symbol of um, a, holy, a holy symbol, a sacred symbol if you saw that luck will be on your side so I think if you take legal action or legal advice things will become clear to you somebody might be giving you a gift or a listening ear or a helping hand in to get your clarity boom this could be a Gemini as the king of swords is Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius I think you're going to get back what you have lost. If it is money, then you most probably will get it back because on Friday you've got the Ten of Pentacles. And why? I don't know why, but I, I hear the War of the Roses. <laughs> you've got roses here, yes, but uh, why do I get the War of the Roses? Perhaps you've had a long-standing argument with somebody and now the dividends are going to be returned to you and be paid out. The War of the Roses, I think that was 90 years of war, so that was quite long. So I think that is what is the message. You might have had a long-standing argument with somebody and now it's coming to fruition and it will be bearing off fruit. If you are meeting a Gemini, then you might be partnering up with a Gemini and getting married. Perhaps reunion. If you've had a break, if they sneaked away, something will become clear to you. Um, and they will give you your share. Okay. This could be somebody, this is like the, um, in the traditional tarot, the Six of Pentacles, it's a, uh, a well help a wealthy man uh, giving to the poor or the less fortunate or vice versa so I think you will be receiving your half of the uh, profits um, that were lost or that you thought you had lost okay they might come back and say um, I haven't stolen it. it, it it was, I've reinvested it to make money, something will become clear to you, okay. So that's the Ten of Pentacles, and there is an ending, and this could be an ending to difficulties financially or emotionally, because the Ten of Pentacles, look, they are joining, a happy family, there might be an ex an expansion in the family, this doesn't have to be a child, this can also be a a pet. Sorry, I'm not getting out of my words. Um, this could also mean that you now have enough money to buy that uh, that castle that you wished, or that home. As you have the Page of Cups, 
the page of cups uh, means that you're going to receive news or that you could be meeting a Pis and other Pisces. Wow, um, there could be an offer. There could also be a, an offer of a proposal to get married because of the two people joining up. Okay, not only a reunion, but you will be celebrating with family and friends, or you might be getting an offer of marriage. At the weekend, we've got the Seven of Cups. You have big dreams, and right so. Dreams keeps us alive and makes motivates us to carry on to the next goal or wish. So, if uh, you have so many wishes, make a pro and cons list and see which wish would be the first wish to come true. This will motivate you to carry on to the next um, wish or goal. And to clarify that, you have the fall. Yes, if somebody's proposing to you and you're not quite sure, because that is one of your wishes, and you don't know whether that's the wish that you want to come to fruition, I would say, think about it, but take the step, take the plunge, take a gamble. This is a jump f into the deep. This is a leap of faith, as they say. It's okay, the cards are, you have learned from the past. If somebody left you, you've learned and you will seek legal advice to before you tie the knot so that everything will be shared 50-50. Okay, very wise advice actually. And you have laugh it out, laugh it out. So you, if you did get separated in the past and somebody took off, then laugh about it now. It's gone, you can't change the past. You can only learn from the past and change the present. Laughter untangles the knot of difficulties before despair can settle in. Even serious situations are under, under divine management. To laugh is to feel good again by accepting the mis mystery, mysterious way of things. Ease up in order to gain a fresh perspective no matter how it looks. Know this, everything is as it should be. The Divine has assigned a spiritual guardian to watch over you. The sun is shining on you, my friend. And the little angel card that I've got is Inspiration, Attitude. Support yourself with an I can do it attitude. Yes, you can do it. Take that leap of faith. You have learned from the past. Okay. I hope you've liked this reading, uh, Pisces, and I hope to see you in the life. Remember, if you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel. Take care and stay safe, all my angels, and be blessed. Love you all. Take care. Thank you. Please subscribe and like. And click on all in, in on the bell, click on all and set your settings in your device and in YouTube to receive notification. Ciao ciao.